Shemoth, Exodus chapter 26. And make the dwelling place with ten curtains of fine woven linen and blue and purple and scarlet material. Make them with carabine, the work of a skilled workman. The length of each curtain is 28 cubits and the width of each curtain four cubits, all the curtains having one measure. Five curtains are joined to each other and five curtains are joined to each other. And you shall make loops of blue on the edge of the, cur of the end curtain on one set and do the same on the edge of the end curtain of the second set. Make 50 loops in the one curtain and make 50 loops on the edge of the end curtain of the second set, the loops being opposite to each other. And you shall make 50 hooks of gold and shall join the curtains together with the hooks and the dwelling place shall be one. And you shall make curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the dwelling place. Make 11 curtains. The length of each curtain is 30 cubits and the width of each curtain 4 cubits. One measure to the 11 curtains. And you shall join the five curtains by themselves, and the six curtains by themselves. And you shall double over the six curtains at the front of the tent. And you shall make fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is outermost in one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain of the second set. And you shall make fifty bronze hooks, and put the hooks into the loops, and join the tent together, and it shall be one. And the overlapping part of the rest of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the dwelling place. And the cubit on one side and the cubit on the other side of what remains of the length of the curtains of the tent is to hang over the sides of the dwelling place, on this side and on that side to cover it. And you shall make a covering of ram skins dyed red for the tent and a covering of fine leather above that. And for the dwelling place, you shall make the boards of acacia wood standing up. Ten cubits is the length of a board, and a cubit and a half of the width of each board. Two tenons on each board for binding one to another. Do the same for, the for all the boards of the dwelling place. And you shall make the boards for the dwelling place. Twenty boards for the south side, and make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards. Two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the second side of the dwelling place on the north side, twenty boards, and their forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards, and for the extreme parts of the dwelling place westward, make six boards, and make two boards for the two back corners of the dwelling place, and they are double beneath, and similarly they are complete to the top, one, to the one ring. So it is for both of them, they are for the two corners. And they shall be eight boards, and their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets under the one board, and two sockets under the other board. And you shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the dwelling place, and five bars for the boards on the other side of the dwelling place, and five bars for the boards of the, on, of the side of the dwelling place of, for the extreme parts westward, with the middle bar in the midst of the boards going toward going through from end to end and overlay the boards with gold and make their rings of gold as holders for the bars and overlay the bars with gold and you shall raise up the dwelling place according to its pattern which was shown on the mountain and you shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine woven linen the work of a skilled workman made with carabine and you shall put it on the four columns of acacia wood overlaid with gold, their hooks of gold upon four sockets of silver. And you shall hang the veil from the hooks, and shall bring the ark of the witness there behind the veil. And the veil shall make a separation for you between the set-apart and the most set-apart place. And you shall put the lid of atonement upon the ark of the witness in the most set-apart place. And you shall set the table outside the veil and the lampstand opposite the table on the side of the dwelling place toward the south and put the table on the north side. And you shall make a covering for the door of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine woven linen made by a weaver. And you shall make for the covering five columns of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, their hooks of gold, and you shall cast five sockets of bronze for them.